It's a heavyweight clash between Bruce Lee and Dan Hendo Henderson. Well, he's one of the best grapplers this division has ever seen. Combat Sambo, part of his background, but he just has a lot of versatility when it comes to his ability to close distance and, and just maneuver your body and get you where he wants. Oh, man, the body manipulation of this guy, John, is something to behold. The way that he moves his opponents from point A to point B in order to get him exactly where he needs him, and that's on the floor looking for submission is truly inspiring to watch. It comes from all the championship background, the championship accomplishments he had in the grappling before he made his UFC debut. That's allowed him to transition to mixed martial arts so effectively. Outstanding controller on the ground. Maybe not on Khabib Nurmagomedov's yeah. level, but closing that gap for sure. Very good in the clinch as well. We'll see how it goes for him here tonight. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar uh, to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height and a similar reach. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Greco-Roman wrestler, holding a professional record of 32 wins, 15 losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Temecula, California, Dan Hendo Henderson. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. The fighters touch him up. manages getting this fight to the ground. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. <laughs> now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch from big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head.
Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. And big fall punch land. Now he gets back to range. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the count. How good is this action about a minute in? I think I'm gassing out just watching this thing. I'm exhausted trying to call <laughs> all the strikes that these two men are throwing at each other. What a fun fight. Yeah, hate to be the punch counter tonight. <laughs> and they separate. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. And a nice left hand there on the inside. Another good stick to the head. Boy, Ty Plum. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Oh, he heard it bad with the jab. Got clip with the right hand. Head kick. Lee's kick is blocked. Single collar tie now. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Back and forth we go. If your opponent has you in the clinch, Pull it down on your head, land it, punch after punch. You have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Beautiful kick. All right, single collar tie now. Goes upstairs for an elbow. Pushing forward now with strikes, and now he's able to secure the takedown. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on him. Got to be careful, on bar. Oh, he picks him up and slams him down. Big explosive slam to lift him and slam him out of that right into side control. Now let's see what he does, right? Sometimes when you do that, the choke or the yes. submission can get tighter, but he was able to evade it there. Yes. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Henderson's got him in a crucifix. Gonna work from the top now. Ground and pound strike is true. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Lee gets back up again. Beautiful one. Oh, collar tie. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. The left punch is true, now the right hand. Henderson's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Just out of range with that left hook. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Switching stances here. The hip toss as he takes him down. Now we'll see what he can do with it. Right into side control. All right, side control now. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, let's take a look back at the previous round. It is a bloody Saturday night, courtesy of those elbow strikes, champ. I mean, Muay Thai at its best, in tight. Over the top with the elbow, coming up with the elbow. He's doing so many different variations of those elbows. All of his coaches at his Muay Thai camp would be very proud of the performance that he's putting on right now. All right, let's get to round two. Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. 
Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Henderson gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Attempts the front kick there. Pretty good right hand. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very good. Oh, nice. Nice. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, high-level defense there. The hook shot is blocked by Lee. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this? Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, and he lands another punch there. And you can tell at this point, he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut on the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting it. Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then change the target down low to try to find finish. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. And he is back up to his feet. Throwing that jab, no good. Anderson gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. The guard lands the right hand. Some nice back and forth action here. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, nasty elbows now, DC. Hard to see if a cut's been opened up, but got to think at some point there's going to be some blood. You got to be so close to fight and throw this many elbows back to back. Great job. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Lands flush with that right hand. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Punch lands over the top. Elbow to the head in the clinch. Nice work there by Lee. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. Battling for hooks. Right punch is there. Henderson's uppercut is blocked. Looked like for a minute he had a window there. It closed quickly. Back to the well with that right hand, it's no good. Double leg takedown attempt here, and that is a good attempt as he gets the fight back to the mat. It's ideal. His ideal situation just happened. He got it on the shot, didn't have to put too much effort to finish. Great job. Henderson's lower jaw, very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Uh, looking out of side control here, his opponent trying to control posture, but you gotta be careful here. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up and see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Final seconds here. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors.
they both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are gonna really start to take effect. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watch him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Right. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Throws the right hand there. That strike blocked by Henderson. Winded up on the right there to no avail. Straight right is there. Oh, single collar tie here. Straight to first knee in his attack. Oh, double leg lands. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Great punch. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Now connects with a right. Matt kick out the fifth man. Oh, nice job by him there to move into half guard. Not much resistance from the bottom front. He's just too good in this position. Look for ground and pound immediately. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly... Henderson's got his head. Let's see if he can secure a guillotine choke here. He's attacking guillotine. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Oh, countering, it looks like with a Von flu choke, or maybe we should call it the OSP now, but trying to get out of the guillotine by submitting his opponent. Incredible. You can get out of there, come on. He got it, he got it, John. How about it? Gets the win by submission, beautifully executed there on the ground. as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. So a seminal moment for this fighter here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Huge victory in his career, and it'll be very interesting to see how they match make him moving forward. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at 2 minutes, 38 seconds of the third round. To claim the winner by tap out, Bruce the Dragon! What an incredible result here tonight as you see the winner there celebrating his victory by way of submission. And they put so much stock into finishing this fight. They felt like to really spin his career forward, they needed to not just win but get the finish, and they certainly got it tonight. They got the finish. He's such a terrific grappler. Every time he is on his back, he looks for submissions over and 